Kenner's new Star Wars Land Speeder. Action figures each sold separately. Baby Yoda! Oh, Star Wars sucks these days. All right, first it was Jar Jar Binks, right? And then they made Luke a loser. I mean, everything went to poo doo after the original trilogy. What? No. It totally makes sense for Luke's character in the saga as a whole. Oh, right. Your generation has been completely corrupted by this nonsense Star Wars. Yes, because it was already so serious to start with. Hey, I just think it's cool. I mean, lightsabers, X-wings, the Force, memes. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. There is nothing better than the final battle between Luke and Vader. I mean, a father and son battling over each other's souls? That is cinematic brilliance. And Ewoks. Native guerrilla insurgents of Endor, all right? Yeah, and Luke and Leia were always supposed to be brother and sister, right? They weren't. Oh, youth. You wanna up? I feel sorry for him. See, back in my day, Star Wars wasn't some stupid cartoon, all right? Or, or uh, Disney's like, oh, we're gonna save the galaxy by having Darth Vader Jr. fall in love with a girl, all right? My Star Wars was the real Star Wars. Like Caravan of Courage? Huh? Um, Raylo is canon. Go cry about it. I mean, personally, I've always been more of a Rebels fan. Oh man, don't even get me started on them damn cartoons. Says the generation responsible for the Ewoks cartoon. Oh now, don't you be talking smack about the great adventures of the great wicked Wistry Warwick. Look, I watched a bit of Rebels with my family and they loved it. Plus, Baby Yoda is pretty cute too. Grogu. Well, you know, no, that's just great. Now we have another generation of children who are gonna like the prequels and the sequels, all right? Star Wars is tainted as far as I'm concerned. Like it wasn't before? Or maybe made for a generation of kids that aren't you anymore. Okay, you wanna know what? A true fan is an OG fan. Or maybe it was always bad and we just have to accept it. Look, I can probably dissect the originals just like you can with the prequels and sequels and millions of spin-offs and books that came after it just to make Lucasfilm a truckload of money. First with Lucas and then with Disney. You wanna know what? It used to be about the art. Ewoks! Native guerrilla insurgents of Endor! I swear! I mean, have you all even seen the original trilogy recently? Did you know that it's actually George's analogy of the Viet Cong, I think? Yeah, and the Emperor was Nixon. Next thing you're gonna be telling me is that the prequels were an allegory for the War on Terror, right? Wait, Star Wars is political? Yeah! Absolutely, right? It used to be a scathing political commentary, right? Now we get Jar Jar Binks. Look, all I know is my family loves Rey. Aww. Especially my younger relatives. Aww. To them, as far as they know, that is their Star Wars. This is the way. What's wrong with younger people having a different experience than you? Because it's not a different experience, it's a bad experience. There's a difference. Did you even watch the holiday special? Yes! That was about the damn funniest thing I have ever seen. I mean, that Grandpa Wookiee watching that thing in the teeth. Yeah, I mean, never mind. Yeah, don't remind me. Uh, honestly, I can't get the image out of my head of, about Lumpy's dumb furry face. Hey, at least the animated sequences were cool. Hey, I'm just spitting the hard truth, alright? My generation knows that Star Wars is, was, and always will be about Luke Skywalker. I thought it was about the Skywalkers as a whole. Well, that's only because Disney ruined it with the sequels. I mean, seriously, I thought I was watching Divergent, not Star Wars. If I remember correctly, George Lucas did the exact same thing. He made it about Anakin with the first six movies with the prequels. Well, George also ruined it. But he created it. Well, Benioff and Weiss also created the Game of Thrones show, so... Yeah, but they ruined the ending because they were trying to make another Star Wars. I'm honestly excited to see how George R.R. Martin is going to end it, just because the books are going to fix it. My sweet summer child. Why are you both like this? Focus! We were talking about Star Wars, remember? Yeah, I do, and I would like to reinforce that the original Star Wars trilogy is the real Star Wars. Look, not that I care, but you do understand that by the process of normalization, the new generation's not going to just watch the originals. They're probably going to watch all nine. Yeah, 
And again, I feel sorry for them, all right? Their view of Star Wars is going to be corrupted. Or maybe it's just different than yours because original intent no longer matters. First, George did that with the prequels, and then a new team of creatives did the exact same thing with everything they came afterwards, just trying to milk the cash cow as much as they can, first with Lucas and then with Disney. I don't know what any of that means, but I still think about how Jin and Cassian basically saved the galaxy. Luke Skywalker saved the galaxy. He blew up the Death Star. Yeah, because Jin, Cassian, and the rest of the Rogue One crew got the plans from Scarif. Such a good movie. All right, I will concede that Rogue One is the only good Disney Star Wars movie. Thank you. Does it matter? Yes, since all the new stuff is ruining my Star Wars. Why is it your Star Wars? Because they came out when I was young, so I own it. You don't own it. The Disney company does, who bought it from Lucasfilm, who was owned by George Lucas. My generation came first, so Star Wars is ours. What am I, Bantha Poodoo? Yeah, and what about the younglings in my family? What about me? Ill-informed fans. Yeah, because it takes a college degree to understand Star Wars. Yeah, okay, Mr. Smug Smarty Pants, all right? Who are all the officers in the Death Star conference room? I don't know, I had a thing. What thing? A life? Fake fan. Clayton, look, why are you still watching Star Wars if you hate it so much? Listen. I have been consuming Star Wars since the 80s, all right? I feel like they owe it to me, all right? They owe it to me for taking this beautiful piece of art and turning it into a, a worse love story than Twilight. It's a full circle moment. The fact that Ben did what Anakin couldn't and saved the one he cared about most, beautiful. Beautiful. God, your generation will never know the glories of the final battle of Endor was a temporary victory before the First Order arose. Your generation has no hope. Rebellions are built on hope. I was gonna say that. Yeah, and somehow Palpatine returned. Palpatine. And clearly someone didn't read Dark Empire. What, dark with, with the what now? Oh, huh? what? Never mind. I think it's amazing that Star Wars has this generational divide. But the fact of the matter is, the old fans are not going to like anything new about Star Wars just because it's new. Meanwhile, each generation is just adding to the beautiful and layered story of family and fighting for freedom. So that's why they're bringing back Palpatine? Palpatine! Well... The Rise of Skywalker novel by Ray Carson shows Palpatine using essence transfer to put himself into a clone. Hot and ready on Exegol using Kamino and Tech. A planet he controlled before the Battle of Endor, according to Greg Pak's Vader comic, Issue 11. They even expanded it more with the secrets of the Sith. Seriously, guys, don't you keep an eye on canon? And that is the power of retconning at work. Anything to sell more Grogu. I just like watching the lightsaber fights. Honestly, the sanest one among us. Sus. Plus, and no one can deny, Baby Yoda... Grogu... is freaking adorable. Well, I'll say even my kids think he's adorable. Mandalorian? This is the way. This, this is, is the, the way. way. I wish I found some better sketches no one's ever seen. I wish I had a better team that wrote funnier scenes. I wish I had some gags in an order that is new. I wish I didn't need a shtick just to get me through. I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure and I care what critics think. My show sketched out and I care what you think. My show sketched out and I care what you think. Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mama sang the TV tunes But now I'm sketched out Wish we could turn back time